Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Last time we killed off Count Caldwell, tossed him out of the tower of Tuzla Castle here at the bottom of the screen. But uh, today we'll be heading deeper into the swamp to escape the Nilfgaardian reinforcements coming along. And we're heading into Isgit, the home of the dreaded Gurnikora. And there's weird glowing red stuff on the trees already. With the path to Isgith hidden from view, Meave proceeded like one blind, moving solely by touch. With each step, she could not know if she would find rock or plunge beneath the black water's surface. The Queen's soldiers followed single file, carefully mirroring her every move. The Lyrians, near the end of their strength, got lucky when a light breeze dispersed the fog to reveal dry land. The Queen let out a sigh of relief. Ah, at last. Meave kicked off her boots to empty them of water and mud, then promptly screamed. Ah! Her legs were in leeches, slimy, bloated leeches. Ignoring the pain and trickling blood, she frantically tore them from her legs. That's not a good idea. Rid of them. That's Having not a good the idea. Last parasite from her calf, Meave grabbed her boot to crush the bloodsucker beneath her heel. Yet it had already slithered off. She spotted it on the trunk of a birch where, like a very fast snail, it was climbing. Climbing leeches. What the devils? But Meave's words caught in her throat. Leeches and ticks in the dozens dangled from the tree's branches. Some were so gorged on blood that their skin was translucent and on the point of bursting. Okay. Had some difficulty muting the urge to wretch. The queen stepped back finding it hard to believe what hung before her eyes, confused as to what it all meant. This is, has just taken a turn into very dark horror. And there goes morale. Okay, fair enough. Something I can deal with. Jesus Christ, look at the trees. I'm scared to even touch anything. Um, there's monsters over there. I'm actually gonna check out the map if this shows us anything. If it wants to load, there we go. I think we have a split. Yeah, so there's stuff over here and then probably a monster battle where those monsters are. This is gonna, yeah, standard battle to start off with. Lights in the fog. The fog above the swamp's dark waters began to thicken, enveloping the entire retinue in a milky haze, obscuring their path. Fearing disastrous missteps, Meave ordered a halt to the march yet would not allow a moment of respite, respite to any. She commanded infantry to circle the camp, standing shield to shield. The arbalests kept a watchful eye, sweaty hands tight, tightly gripping their, their weapons. Then, amidst the fog, they saw as eerie lights began to flash all around them. There we go, so foglets, at least. So standard battle, so we're gonna start with a drummer. Left, right, and then the left, turn. right. Destroy the lowest unit and destroy the lowest unit and then damage a random enemy by the power of the destroyed unit. Okay. Every turn on turn end boosts out by two of impenetrable fog is on the battlefield when this unit power surpasses eight, spawn another foglet, fair enough. Uh, first gonna check out what we get from the drummer, which is another one of those Don't disgraced no dudes. Uh, spawn three units of a Deathwish unit. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And destroy all them. So that boosts all our Scaliger units multiple times. Don't know why that happened. Oh yeah, it's because his power is past uh, eight already. And then I'm gonna return the drummer. Maybe one drummer and a one... What's the next card in the row here? Yeah, a Blitz unit. So one drummer and one disgraced warrior so the drummer again again and, again and then the disgraced warrior which we'll be able to use in a second I have the power of three adjacent units which is fine maybe check even the grey rider first now uh, and then use the drummer to get Reynard and discipline shall bring us victory Hmm, extra charges. Probably best to use that on the drummer, I suppose. Although, these guys, I, won't mi I wouldn't mind these guys dying as well. 
So if we damage two units, that's this and this. And we can do that again. To kill that blood crazed foglet. Uh, like this. And then we can use the disgraced warrior to dual a unit in a second. But we can also use the regiment drummer to get another blacksmith, which hey, will hey, allow us to that. use the Divana Runestone again. And double up on those disgraced brawlers. And that will boost those again. Which is great. Let's do all this guy then. There we go. Kill them off in one fell swoop. Those Scaliger units are really powerful. I think he might even pass. No. Impenetrable fog. You know what? Let's just keep playing those uh, disgraced brawlers. Uh, but... Yeah, let's just play two cards from our deck and destroy the rest. So War Wagon and Slinger. Yeah, Slinger is 12 damage, so might as well. So War Wagon. You can try to win them all, but you won't. And Slinger. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. And destroy one of our light infantry units and those two guys. 12 damage at least. There we go. And then the turn. And he goes down. Yeah, he has no units left anymore. That's great. So let's pass with that. That wish is probably not triggered on the remaining guys, but still, that was nice. And we have more disgraced warriors where that came from. So that is pretty much perfect, actually. Because those units are really high now. I want to try this out. I think I might be able to actually just do all of this in one go so uh disgraced warrior there we go very high powered units right now those galaga units are immensely powerful so it does have our damage there which is sad which means i can't do all right away so maybe even use me's ability to, to pull him back because he's pretty much useless right now um and I could replay them, all of them. I'm gonna start moving around units as well. So maybe the Disgraced Warrior and the Grey Rider. So Disgraced Warrior, Come on, I should have used the Grey Rider me. first. Nice. At once. There we go. That's not bad either. Uh, sh now I can play Dogger Two Blades. On and that's gonna boost all of here. those units. Scalaga units. On the field. Oh, look at that. That's a veritable <laughs> army. I'm not going to have enough space. I'm not going to have enough space. <laughs> I just have... For a wow. Invitation. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, never mind. That was a very greasy laugh, but. <laughs> Skelliger rules! Skelliger rules! I don't care, buddy. You're gonna die, die in a second. Um, now I wish I, I had given my Forager another charge, because I can't do a single thing right now. Um, hmm. I could use Meave. Because I can play two cards, right? Yeah. I can actually use... <laughs> oh my god. I can use Marching Orders to reduce Meath cooldown to zero. Which is something I'm going to do. And then I think I'm going to use Xavier again. Like this. So Marching Orders reduce that to zero. Use Xavier like Get this. Work. As I said, I wanted to give the Forager another charge. And then I can use... Um, who else am I going to give another charge? So just give the Forager another charge just to make a bit of space. Now, I can use all of these guys to start damaging stuff. Pop, 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 pop. And then use this guy to just kill all that. And there we go. 
and use the furniture to make some space. And that gives us another death wish. And we could just discard another one of those brawlers for two more cards that I don't have any idea what to do with. Probably egg. That's gonna be nice. Egg and Gascon. Yeah, Gascon and egg. <laughs> and just when you so there goes Gascon to get dull. and an egg. I fear not for faith. Guys. And then I can use the Furger again to boost all my Skelligan units once more. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And yeah, let's just use another Arbalest. I don't know what I need to do with this guy. How much damage is that? Quite a bit. Might as well do that on one of my Skelligan units. Might get something out of that. 383. And oh, we're not done yet. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> This is awesome. This is awesome. Goodbye. And yeah, I don't even need to play my Northern Wind card. There we go. Ah, oh, okay, that was awesome. Scaliger, Scaliger rules. Scaliger rules. Yeah, you can damage me, but I don't think that will matter. Holy crap, Scaliger is powerful. Especially on longer battles, which is what they're known for. That was amazing. I am not mad in the slightest. Um, let's check this out. Milady, in the cottage we found a wooden figure carved to your likeness. There's a noose round its neck and a knife in its back. It's deeply troubled the man. They say you've been cursed. That, that shadow looms over you. So let them say what they will, which drops morale down. Prepare a small pyre. This effigy we shall burn and show them I am unafraid. Which needs a bit of wood. And increase their pay, I find that typically helps morale. Yeah, let's go for the pay for now. Because I also want to do some upgrades. We also got a report that I forgot to read, so let's read that. Letter from Abdehi to Palatine Caldwell. I've denied your request to return to Lyria. Admittedly, your argument that as a young ruler, King Willem needs the support of an experienced statesman is so we read that, right? At the present moment, your talents... Yeah, we've read that completely. We, we saw that somewhere else, right? But, upgrades. Uh, so the command tent is completely filled now. The, so the only thing we need to upgrade is the workshop. Which would allow us to make fancy Aretusa adepts. Or mantlets. Or we go for the alchemist laboratory, which increases the amount of Gascon units. And gives us boosts for the infiltrator and alchemists. Might as well do the drafting desk first, since I feel like that's the more powerful upgrade. At, at 10 hut! There we go, all Rainer upgrades completed. And with a bit more wood, we'll be able to do the same for Gascon. Which is fine. I actually might be able to do that right now. With the extra coin we have, but... We'll wait just a bit longer. Just a bit longer. So let's check the command tent. And reconfigure just a little bit. We also got the Reinforcements card, which uh, chooses an ally and play all copies of it from your deck. But we're pretty limited with the Skalaga units, which I want to try and boost to their fullest. You know what, I added a lot of those Aratusa Adepts, which actually adds copies of a certain unit to your deck. So if I can use Reinforcements to pull them out, then that would be a really powerful combo in just a few cards as well. So that's basically it. I've removed all of the Arbalasts and changed them to Aratusa Adepts. And then we swap out the the Northern Wind card for the Reinforcements card. So uh, there we go. So Monster's down, which means we can head north. But the bridge seems to be broken off. I don't think there's an other way towards that area. So I'm going to have to fix this. Another destroyed bridge the boards have given to rot, but the columns yet stand. Strangely enough. On your orders, put our engineers can begin to rebuild the, the crossing platform. There we go. Let's rebuild the bridge. And check this out. So there seems to be another puzzle battle here, guarded, guarding a chest. Eternal peace. It's sometimes said cemeteries are places of eternal peace. Well, in my experience, it's quite the opposite. Burial grounds are deadly dangerous and woe befalls many who do not grant them a wide berth. Eliminate the grave hack and use your leader ability. And the bar guests are already dying. So every turn on turn start, destroy the lowest unit. And play this card from your graveyard and strengthen it by two. So they're going up and up and up and up. 
which is interesting. Banish any number of units from your graveyard and damage all units on a row by the amount banished. And damage an enemy unit and all other enemies with the same power by 4. Then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. So let's start by drawing two blitz units. I don't know what we're going to pull. Um, let's just start damaging those guys. I don't have another choice. There we go, I suppose. And then the turn. So they're all gonna be Arbalests, yeah. Okay. So if I now use Meef on the bar guests, they get damaged and killed and boosted. Because I think the objective is to eliminate the Grave Hag, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's play two more Blitz units. Damage and one damage. One and then the turn. Those were destroyed by. Destroy the lowest units, which are my. Oh. That's the breaking points. Okay. So I think with the abilities of the Arbalests. I'm a monster. I can actually trigger Lyria! something else instead, right? So if I do this, she will only destroy one of the two bar guests, which is what I want, I think. Because if we use the Arbalest to the fullest, Wonderful. so like this, and then like this. Give me a time. Um, that wish play this card from your graveyard. So I don't want to do that. And now use Meave's ability. Ah! I got eight damage on the hack, which is great. She's, so now she's going to start destroying my Arbalest. But if I play this right, I might actually be able to counter that a bit. Because she's always going for the lowest units. So if I do one damage on I'm one of mine, and two damage on those two bar guests, we get this situation, and they both go to they go to seven and nine. So now still, she's still gonna destroy. Wait, 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 wait. With the royal decree, we get one to five. And one to one four. So that means we have two turns where we're protected. Because I want to keep my units alive. Now what I want to do as soon as possible as well is kill off those bar guests. In probably the next turn. So now the Dalsbok runestone. Uh, like this. There we go. And the turn. Then, still protected, so we can use this Dalsbok runestone to maybe even lower one of mine to five, and then to four, and then the rest on this guy. And then the turn. So now, let's boosts allies by two and damage enemies by two as well so that does that and then we can get the rivian broadsword on the bar guest that still won't probably damage the grave hack which is weird but there we have that and now i think i might not have enough units in my graveyards we'll see ah there we go she destroyed herself oh god dagger she counts herself as well as one of the units she might destroy. There we go. Never mind. We killed her. We killed her. There we go. Another grave hack down and another chest for us. So another border to use in Gwent, which is a fine. Looks actually pretty nice with those uh, obelisks. Day one, we've established the settlement's boundary and have begun work on the palisade. 
God's willing, we'll turn these swamps into fertile fields yet. Ankun will be the breadbasket of all Temeria. Day 23. I don't understand. The fields we plow one day are covered in thorny vines the next. The sheep are dying one after the other. Seems the rots already set in before they've drawn their last bread. 20 days later, the rain hasn't stopped. Supplies are running low and we've no yield from harvest. And these dead mosquitoes and ticks. And then, 8 days later, only 3 of us left. Tomorrow we make for the Yaruga. Melitele, good mother, have mercy on us. So yeah, I kind of failed to even do something here because of... Gurney Korra's influence, probably. I think we might have time for just one more fight or event. So let's just try and find something like that. So to the south, there's actually another uh, settlement with another puzzle battle. Okay. Bring it. We can do this. Abandoned village. The Nilf Guardians had ambitious, far reaching plans for Angren. Drain the swamp, fell its trees, and use the fertile peat rich soil for farming. It was for this purpose settlers from the south made their way there. They did not, however, endure long. The Nilfgaardian peasants' shacks are now lifeless, the interior stained with blood. Eliminate all foes, so we're uh, fighting spiders. So we're fighting the uh, Arakas drones. Um, that wish draw three cards, but that, that won't matter, right? Draw, draw cards. But we need to destroy everything. Um, so let's use the pitfall trap first. And that's already wrong because I don't think... Yeah, there's not enough space for three units. That's... Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so... End the turn. Then we can move more units over. Bigger they are, easier they are to touch. So let's pull two of these gigantic Arakasses. Oh, we draw two cards. Like this, yeah, okay. Got it, got it. Um, so let's use the Onager. So that's three damage every time. Which means that we can start killing the drones. Then start killing drones. And we get that, okay. Uh, and the turn. Destroy the highest ally and play two allies from your graveyard. But I don't have a graveyard yet. Um, okay, so then we need to destroy this. And destroy that one to get another card. Okay, spawn tree, infantry, light infantry on the right. You can Let's try use that. Ball, but you won't. And then the turn. Destroy the highest ally and play two allies from your graveyard. There we go. And then we can pull both of them back in. So let's just use the slinger from over here. Thing about slings, and pull well. these three right into the trap. And then we can use the forager. If the ring won't come like this. Just take the whole finger. And then we can start doing what to see that these guys do. Six damage. I could damage these first. Oh, I can only damage enemies with that. Okay, fair enough. Other cost drone, and we get another war wagon. Um, probably best to start focusing on maybe one of the biggest guys because they actually give us two cards. Like this, more war wagons, and a slinger, okay? And then, like this, and the turn. Then, more light infantry units. Can't take it anymore. And the turn. And then the slinger to kill off light infantry units. I hope, because otherwise, yeah, there's no other way. Yeah, there we go, that's good. Ah, that's perfect. And it actually gives us three charges on each of the onagers as well, giving us more to do here. Now, we're, gonna, we're getting Rivian sappers, so we're gonna have to be careful with that. Because uh, Rivian Sappers, I think, do two damage here. This one I can get to two, which is perfect because I get three cards from it. 
Then this one I can also get the two. Perfect, okay. Then, damage unit by two if it was destroyed, repeat this ability. I can do that to multiple dudes now. Don't you worry yourself, your grace. To we these, no these, and then my two light infantry units. And just damage the highest one. And we get more war wagons like this, so I think we're pretty much done, right? Damage three units by three, but I can also do this. Yeah, we're pretty much done. I think the hardest part was getting started. So now the war wagon Can't even over here, hungry like a wolf and a war man. wagon over here. You can try to win them all, but you won't. And then the sapper to destroy all those, in the oh, all those light infantry units. So yeah, we're pretty much easily done this. We could kill. We could have killed a lot more units than that. And there we go. All Arakas is down. Cool puzzle, but we could have killed a lot more than that. Cadaverine, so I think that just kills, does damage to three units. And if they are already damaged, it actually destroys them, if I'm correct. Because we've used that a few times with Blizzard. Damage three units by three, if already damaged, destroy them instead. Indeed, we're not going to use that, though. I think our Skellige-based deck is now as powerful as it's going to be. Just gathering a few stuff here. A bit of stuff, a bit of stuff. And by the way, another settlement that's completely ravaged by uh, Gurney Korra's curse. Which is, uh, yeah, not a good sign. New mark is added. Over here, two more battles. And then we have a question mark to the side here. Where is that? Aha. From Ragbar, Lord of Temeria, Mahakam and the Pontar to Drogovit, Grand Royal Huntsman. I read your letter with keen interest. Is git indeed sounds like a horrid place. It comes as no wonder the elves surrendered it without a fight. In any case, the felling must continue. Construction of Tuzla Castle has proven difficult due to a scarcity of strong, stable building materials. We require two dozen oaks, aged 100 years or more, at absolute minimum. I'm relying on you, Drogovit. Do not disappoint me. You shall see the full extent of my generosity. Ragbard. So yeah, we know the, the construction of Tuzla Castle failed because they couldn't get the building materials over there. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. I think we did a lot and we're getting deep into Gurnikorin's territory, so uh, expect more of her in the future. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of uh, Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.